Hello, everyone. This is Trader C. Brown here. I want to welcome you to our weekly forecast. This is GU, uh, GDP USD. For those of you that trade despair, let's look at what would the market has for us this coming week, week 42. We are now in work week 42 today. Let's begin analyzing the Sunday uh, chart breakdown. This is, <clears throat> this is forecast breakdown chart that we can look at. Uh, on GU. Now, um, GU is obviously looking very bearish still, although we just had the market giving us a new higher high here by breaking this previous uh, high, giving us a new higher high. So at this level with this swing high that the market has given us. But again, if we were to measure this swing low to this swing high, we will discover that price broke below the 60, 61 region, and then it's still trading lower. So there's possibility that the market wants to go lower still on GU, but I would like to give you a heads up of what I'm looking for. There's still probability that the market will trend uh, even lower um, on this pair. We might be looking at more to the downside, looking at this pair, but um, not for too long because we can see that the market is getting ready to push higher. Now, in addition to that, is to look at the daily and see exactly what you are, are trying to say. If you look at the daily, you can see that the market created a push to the upside. And if I put my feed on this swing low to that swing high, right there, you can see that 61, 50, 61 couldn't even hold the trade. The momentum to the downside is still very strong. So you can see price broke below it. We should expect price uh, tapping into this 18,500 or 1,800 in the later future. But hopefully that uh, will happen uh, in a later date. We're expecting price to tap into that zone. But uh, if it doesn't before the end of this month of October, then we should be looking at a W pattern on the daily, which the market will give us this beautiful W pattern then begin to head back up in the future. But we still see that price has a little bit to go to the downside. If it doesn't break this low on the daily, then we should be expecting price to go higher coming weeks or months, which is obviously we're looking at October, November and December period uh, where the market will start bully getting bullish. But I'm talking about the momentum right now. The first thing I'm dealing with now is the momentum. I'm looking at the overall momentum of the market. So the general momentum of the market is bearish, whichever time frame you want to look at it from, it looks bearish to me based on the higher time frames. So we fix our gaze on four hour and we try to look at what the market has given us on the four hour. Now on the four hour time frame, we see that the market created a new higher high over here and then drop massively by creating another lower high and then uh, creating a new lower low. Um, the structure is being formed outside this uh, break of trend line. You can imagine what I'm talking about. So now we can look at a momentum still bearish. The market is still bearish, even though it created this bullish a run to the upside by breaking structure to the higher, uh, higher side by giving us one higher high in the market. But now what is the, that's the momentum. The momentum is still bearish, okay? Very important that you know the momentum, okay? Momentum is bearish, all right? It's bearish. So we are still very bearish on GU. So the question is, what is now the directional bias? So we're looking at now directional bias. So how do we know where we're going in this market? How do we know the directional bias? How do we trade this market this coming week? Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Sorry about the noise, it's a busy day. Uh, uh, F, I mean, aircrafts are flying over my head today. I don't know what's going on over my roof. You can hear a lot of sound on the background if you just listen. But nevertheless, let's look at the chart. Now, 
right now we've just confirmed that the, the momentum is bearish. So what is the direction? Uh, what is the directional bias? So the directional bias is also is not bearish, but for the start, the directional bias is bullish. Now I will explain that. Okay. I will explain why the directional bias is bullish. So let me first of all bring to your mind that the market just started trending down by creating a new higher high and started breaking down. So the question is, how could we have a bearish momentum and then we're having a bullish momentum, a, a bullish directional bias? Now, it's both ways, okay? First of all, starting out the market open tonight, and then we're going to be looking at buying the market to the upside. Why? Because of the, uh, 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 the, the reaction that we found from this bearish, this bullish candle. You see this bullish candle on four hour that closed bullish? Just confirm that we, there is a reversal that is taking place here, okay? If you check this drop that happened here, you see that bullish candle went up, pull back, okay? Now, if you notice again, this bullish candle here, immediately after the bearish, what happened? There was a pullback a little, and then after the bullish candle what happened, price went up. So always the market gives us that candlestick behavior. Look at this, this zone here. Again, we saw a bearish, a bullish, what happened? Price went up. Okay. We saw a bearish, bullish, bearish again, bullish. What happened? Price went up. So reverse the pattern, no follow through. Now there is no follow through on the bearish momentum. So that means there was no another candle that printed after the break of the lower structure. So this structure has a break, but now there's a reversal, a reversal, a reversal. It means that if the market was going to reverse, I have to measure the swing high to the swing low to know where the market is going to reverse to, okay? Now there is a bullish momentum here, okay? Where you are expecting to buy from on this trend, on this market, is at the, deep, at the premium. So you want to buy within this area of the market at this premium. You want to sell, sorry. You want to buy to that area and then look for opportunity to sell. So right now, the market is on the upside, is going towards the upside. So you can literally buy this bias to the upside. Okay. You can buy that and then wait for the market to give you a signal before you sell. Now, selling from there is pro bias. That means it is a high probability trade. So the high probability trade there is buying, is selling from this premium zone to the downside. So when you do that, when you wait for that to happen, then you are actually trading a high probability trade. So if you are looking for a high probability trade, you can wait for price to push up to this premium zone and look for opportunity based on your entry strategy to sell from that zone. Now, remember, this, this market can spark all the way up by breaking this high, stay head up. That can happen. So just be careful when you see that the market is strong, bullishly strong and pushing up. Do not get in until you have a signal that there is a weak in structure and is not breaking above this high. So if price come up here, and this high is being maintained at that level, then we know that we are looking for opportunity to sell. So we should look at the candlestick behavior. But at the moment, there is a buy momentum to the upside. Now, for those of you in the, uh, for those of you in my uh, trading lab, CB trading lab, I want you to know that there is a buy opportunity that I'm going to send to you on a signal um, in the in the lab. So ensure you, you participate because uh, by first thing tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be showing you, sharing with you the, the entry and then you're gonna see the opportunity to get into this buy and also the opportunity to sell from here. So at the moment, we are looking at this. So for those of you watching now on YouTube for free and you're learning all this stuff, expect to buy from here to the upside. Watch out how price move from here to the upside. And then expect price to react at this zone. 
Why is that? Because if you were to measure using your FIB from this swing high to this swing low on the downside, okay? So I will just put it on the body for now so we can have a clean. If I put on the body, you can see where I'm targeting. So price may not even get to that area. So price may get to 61 or break a little bit above it and then start heading back down. So you have to look for this zone. Another way of looking at it is seeing it as an order block on the four hour. So you want to look at it as an order block on the four hour to be able to see price tap into that order block and then react to that order block and then begin to sell. So we're looking for these two directions. This is called directional bias. It is both bullish. I think I should edit that. So you know that we're looking at both of them as bullish and bearish momentum at the same time. So, and bearish at the same time. So, but the reality is it's not all bullish. It's not, it's not all bullish, but more of the bearish. Now, what you want to see is that you want to get to trade when price is bearish, when the, the momentum is bearish, as you can see, and then you have opportunity to trade, to sell. So we want to see price push up, get to this zone, and this will be high probability trade. Where is bearish momentum and is bearish opportunity to sell at this level. That's what I want you to look for on GU. So this is my take on GU this week. So remember we do daily analysis, daily analysis on the, on the trading lab. So if you are not in the trading lab, the link is in the description below. It is just 30 quid a month. Teddy Queer March, you become a member of our trading lab and you will receive all of the trainings you need in Forex. You will receive all of the daily analysis of our trade consistently. You don't want to miss it. So I encourage you to be there. The link is in the description of this video. All right, now let's move to the next opportunity, which is EURUSD. Now I'm going to look at EURUSD. Now on Euro USD, sorry guys about that noise. It's just it's just some some people are just busy this morning, and it's Sunday morning, and they just want to play around. Okay, now looking at this, we can see this is the recent high the market created and the recent low that the market created. Now if you expand this candle a bit, you see that the candle that closes is bullish. It did not close bearish. So let me show you what I mean. You see this candle here, this here? First, we see that the market does broke this structure, this low, okay? So let me just mark it out. Now, we see the market broke this low and then drop bearish to the downside. But we see that this is the only candle that moved bearish. Then the next candle closed bullish in decision, but is bullish. If you look at it very closely, it is a, 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 a blue candle there, which is bullish candle. You can change the color if you want. So for that reason, first, let's look at the momentum. Let's look at the general momentum of this market. Now, if you see this momentum, if you turn on the line chart for, for a moment, you see that price broke this high, which was a major swing high that was taken out on this push up. So obviously, I could still see that they have the same bias with GU, although it looks like this one is more bullish than GU. Okay, this movement, so the downside on Euro USD is more bullish than GU, but it's still bearish. So for that reason, they they almost true the like you know that so for that reason I'm still considering a more opportunity to sell this market it could it could rally up it could rally up there's nobody that is hundred percent perfect or hundred percent accurate on this thing so we just know that it's all about prediction it's all about analysis and it depends how good you are which analysis to be of the advantage so here I can see price drop massively bearish broke this structure that is here this minor structure to create that lower high. And then it's dropping more to even target even lower lows. So I expect price to drop. Why? Because the momentum overall is still bearish. Even though it appears that it's shifting 
to a bullish momentum like GUES. It's got, this is a new higher high that the market just created over here. So we're having this new higher high that the market created by breaking this high. So breaking structures, you can see it tacking up to the higher. But then the market dropped massively to take out this low. So eventually by taking out that low, we have a new structure low by dropping. So we should have spent price to do something of this nature or whatever, and then be able to get back into the market. So what I'm expecting here on Euro USD is this. Directional bias, momentum, generally momentum is bearish. Directional bias is bullish and also bearish as GU is. So what I mean by that is because this candle kind of close bearish, a bullish, this next candle kind of close bullish, now give us a confirmation that it is a no follow through as it is with GU. So what I mean is that the sell momentum is now changing a pattern to the upside. So for that reason, I can see that there is a potential for price to reverse to the upside and a buy opportunity. So that buy opportunity, I'm gonna use this gang box first of all to, to highlight the zone to which there is discount on premium zone. So this is it on this pair. So right now, price is right here. So I'm expecting price to rally up to the upside and it could it could just go on. It could just it could just go on. It could just go on like that, and then continue like that. That can happen. I'm not I'm not I'm not against that. It could happen. All right, prepare yourself. But right now, directional bias is buy. So we're gonna be buying from this zone. So looking for opportunity to get into the trade, and then buy into that zone. Now, if price failed to break this high here, then we are looking at opportunity to sell. And then when that happened, then we are having a high probability trade. Okay, so just like GU was. So at the moment, we should be looking at opportunity to buy to the upside right here. So everyone trading Euro USD, that was my, that was my stop. Trading USD, looking for opportunity to buy to the zone. And then when you get here, Watch out for price action. If it breaks any of these high, then you are no more looking for opportunity to sell. You should be waiting for price to pull back a little bit and then continue to buy. Now, that is why we do the daily analysis so that if you're not in the trading lab, you might be missing up on the opportunity that we're looking at in the market. So if the market shift pattern, you'll be able to catch up with us. But at the moment, this is what the market is, the next move we're making. So if you're able to cash the buy from tomorrow or tonight, good for you. And if you're able to catch the sale tomorrow, let's assume this high was not taken out and the market pushed up and started reacting on this other block to reject and start dropping, that is high probability trade. So of, that is an opportunity to actually sell from that zone, from that high there. You want to be able to look at price coming here and reacting to there, and then we'll look for opportunity to sell. That will be a high probability trade that you might want to take. So for me, that is what I'm looking for on Euro USD. So Euro USD could be like this in the future, but for now, it is preparing to switch its momentum to the upside. But but for tomorrow, look for opportunity to buy from here. Okay, we're looking at. That means this is a reversal to the upside. Price is going to go up. And then if it breaks this high, then it's going to go higher. Then we need for a pullback to continue buying. If price fails to break this high, we should look for opportunity to sell at this other block. And then when that happens, it will be a high probability trade. So I believe you enjoyed this section of, uh, of the analysis on GU and Euro USD. If you like it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also ensure that you're following us on our Telegram. The link is in the description below. And also, in addition to that, I want you to join our trading lab where you'll be learning a lot on how to trade every day because we're going to be sending you daily analysis and also videos to back it up, and you'll be learning so much. And you can ask questions. You can follow us on that. So the link is in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to be doing a video on gold and GDP, US, uh, GDP, 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 GPY. 
So uh, watch out for that. Bye for now.